everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPath. In this video, we take a look at what is Hyperledger Fabric. Hyperledger Fabric is a modular blockchain framework and acts like a building block that makes special computer programs called blockchain. These programs help companies work together and share information securely. It acts like a super secure digital notebook that only certain people can read and write in. This technology lets company work together on projects and share information while also keeping some things private. Let's explore how Hyperledger Fabric makes teamwork easier and safer. Before we start, let's take a look at our agenda for the day. First, we start our video by seeing what is Hyperledger Fabric. Moving on, we learn Hyperledger Fabric working. Next, we'll take a look at how does transaction happen on Hyperledger Fabric and what are the use cases and applications of Hyperledger Fabric. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. Now let's start with the first topic. What is Hyperledger Fabric? Hyperledger Fabric is like a secure digital ledger or record keeping system. Just think of it as a special type of notebook that businesses use to write important information. But it's not an ordinary notebook. It's a high tech one that helps businesses to track things in an organized and a trustworthy way. Hyperledger Fabric is like a secure digital ledger or record keeping system. Let's say that your family has a small bakery business and you want something to keep track of all the product development and decision involved in it. Now let's say your family wants to make a new type of chocolate. You all gather around and discuss the recipe, how much coca you need, who makes it and when will it be ready. Everyone writes this information in their own copy of digital notebook. That's the Hyperledger fabric. Here's the magic. When something changes like the recipe or the cocoa supply, everyone's notebook gets updated at the same time. This way, no one gets confused and everyone knows exactly what's happening. So basically, Hyperledger is a secure digital notebook where you can keep track of all the business activities. Only the person who has the access to make changes can add it to the notebook. So you do not have to worry about someone sneaking and writing something wrong. In this big business world, Hyperledger Fabric helps companies to keep track of important things, who owns what land, who buys and sells product, and who even borrows money. It's like a digital helper and keeps everyone on the same page and makes sure that everything is fair and accurate. Hyperledger Fabric is like a digital teamwork tool for the businesses. It helps them work together, share information and trust that everything is accurate. So the next topic is working of Hyperledger Fabric. Traditional blockchain networks can't support private transactions and confidential contracts that are most important for businesses. Hyperledger Fabric was designed in response to this as a modular, scalable and secure foundation for offering industrial blockchain solution. Hyperledger Fabric is an open source engine for blockchain and takes care of the most important features for evaluating and using blockchain for business use case. Within private industrial network, the verifiable identities of a participant is a primary requirement. Hyperledger Fabric support membership based on permission. All network participants must have been known identities. Many business sectors such as healthcare and finance are bound by data protection regulation that mandates maintaining data about various participants and their respective access to various data points. Fabric supports such permission-based membership. Hyperledger Fabric being a permission blockchain network gets set by organization that intend to set up a venture. The organization that takes part in building a Hyperledger Fabric network is called members. Each member organization in a blockchain network is responsible to set up their peers for participating in a network. All of these peers are configured with appropriate cryptographic materials like certificate authority and other information. Imagine a scenario where a company wants to improve transparency and traceability in its supply chain. They decide to implement a hyperledger fabric based blockchain solution to achieve this. So the first step is network setup and definition. The first step is to define network architecture. 
This involves determining number of organizations, peers and orders in a network. For our example, let us consider organizations, manufacturers and retailers. Smart contractors are the business logic that defines the rules and actions of blockchain. In our case, the smart contract could handle product creation, shipment tracking and verification process. So the next step is network deployment. Each organization sets up its own peers and maintain its private data. The orderer node are responsible for maintaining the order of transaction in a blockchain network to ensure consistency across the network. Then we have code chain development and installation. The smart contract is developed according to the business requirement. It defines function for creating products, updating shipment status and verify products. The chain code is installed on peers of each organization. They allow them to execute transaction according to defined business logic. The fourth step is transaction flow. The manufacturer organization initiates a transaction to create a new product. The code chain is invoked to record the product details on blockchain. As the product moves through the supply chain, the manufacturers update its status using transaction. This status change is recorded on blockchain, providing transparency to all participants. When the retailers receive the product, they can initiate a verification process using transaction. The smart contract validates the authenticity of product based on its recorded history. The fifth step is privacy and permission. Hyperledger fabric allow private data to be shared only between specific participants. This is important for business scenarios where certain information should be kept confidential. The last step is auditing and reporting. The blockchain maintains an immutable ledger of all the transaction providing a transparent and tamper-proof record of all the supply chain activities. Participants can generate report based on the blockchain data to gain insights in the supply chain operation, product movement and verification process. Moving on, let's see how does transaction happen in Hyperledger Fabric. So the first step is the client initiates a transaction. The end user wants to perform a transaction. They use the client application to send the request to the software development kit. The SDK converts the transaction request into transaction proposal, signed by end user's unique cryptographic signature. SDK then forwards the transaction proposal to the peers responsible for endorsement according to endorsement policies. So the second step is Endorsed peer verify transaction and execute transaction. The endorsed peer verifies the transaction proposal first. The criteria for validities are followed. The transaction proposal is well formed. The transaction proposal has not been submitted to pass. The transaction proposal signature is valid. The end user is authorized to perform the requested action on channel or network. If the transaction proposal is verified, the end user peer invoke the chain code function specified by transaction proposal and sends the proposal input as an argument to the function. The function on the chain code is executed, but the changes are not made to the ledger yet. The output consists of response value, write set, and read set. It is produced as a result of execution. Lastly, the output and the signature of endorsing peers are sent back to the SDK. SDK further parses the transaction response for the application. Step 3. Inspection of proposal responses. The proposal responses collected from all the endorsing peers are matched and the application verifies the signature. Now the application checks the nature of proposal. The transaction is not submitted to ordering services if the end users only query some data. However, if the users did not query the data, the application ensures that endorsement policy has been fulfilled. Step 4. Client broadcast endorsement to convert the transaction. After endorsing that the endorsement policy has been fulfilled, the application broadcasts the transaction proposal in response to ordering service. 
The ordering service receives the transaction from all the channels and arranges them chronologically. Step 5. Validation of transactions. A batch of transaction is delivered to all the peers on the channel in the form of block. The transaction within the block are validated by ensuring endorsement policy has been fulfilled and no changes have been made to the ledger when the endorsement peers execute it. After that, the transactions are tagged as valid or invalid. Step 6. Update the ledger. After the transactions are validated, they are added to the ledger in shape of block. All the peers add the block to the ledger. Furthermore, the rights are broadcasted with the transaction response are committed to the state database. And lastly, an event is emitted to notify the end user. Hyperledger Fabric, being a modular and flexible blockchain framework, has found applications in various industries and use cases where secure, permission and scalable blockchain networks are needed. So let's take a look at some of the use cases and applications of Hyperledger Fabric. Supply Chain Management Hyperledger Fabric is used to track and verify the movement of goods across the supply chain. It enhances transparency, reduces fraud and provides traceability by securely recording each step of the supply chain process. Then we have Trade Finance. Hyperledger Fabric facilitates secure and transparent trade finance transaction by digitalizing and automating document processing, reducing paperwork and enhancing trust amongst multiple parties involved in international trade. Then we have Healthcare. In Healthcare, Hyperledger Fabric can be utilized to manage patient record clinical trails and drug supply chain. It allows the security and privacy of sensitive medical data while allowing authorized parties to access and share information. Financial services. Hyperledger Fabric can streamline cross-border payment, automating trade settlement and providing secure platform for issuing managing data assets such as cryptocurrencies and tokenized assets. Then we have voting system. Hyperledger Fabric can enhance the transparency and security of voting system by recording votes on an immutable ledger, reducing the potential of tampering and fraud. Then we have garment services. Garments can use Hyperledger Fabric to enhance the efficiency and security of public services such as land registration, identity issuance and tax collection. These are just few examples of the applications of Hyperledger Fabric across various industries. Its flexibility and focus on permission network make it versatile choice for creating tailored blockchain solution that addresses specific business needs while ensuring privacy and security. So guys, that's all we have for this session. We saw how Hyperledger works and how it can help add transparency into the multitude of segments be it government or organization. I hope this content provided you some value. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe to IntelliPath YouTube channel to come across more updates like this. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers blockchain certificate course. In this program, you will gain an in-depth understanding about the distributed ledger technology, Atrium, Solidity programming and more. For this course, we already had thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonial on our Achievers channel, whose link is given below in the description. Without a doubt, this course can set your careers to great height. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take the first step towards the career growth in the field of blockchain.